here I am. It's the kind of the old Mo. Well, the old Mo's in the photo, but I'm the old Mo because I'm older now than I was when I was in the photo. That's maybe 50 some years ago, right? The old Mo, the new Mo, the new Mo, the old Mo, and whoop, Cancer Man. What's going on with you, Mo? Well, Cancer Man. You know, what's going on with me is I'm trying to find out how to live and take care of myself after cancer. Cancer, cancer, I know what cancer is. I know you do, Cancer Man. And you've been very really helpful, as a matter of fact, helping me get through some of these devastating side effects that happen after the treatment. Those treatments were brutal. Yeah, the treatments were brutal. I always remember those needles in my arms and stuff pouring in my veins, all that chemotherapy. But the chemotherapy seemed to have caused some damage, some neurotoxicity. Neurotoxicity, so what are you gonna do about it? Well, here's what I'm gonna do. You know, last time we talked about how I had to eat differently, okay? But now I've gotta talk about like also, if I've got neuropathy, which is what the doctors say, they now say I do have neuropathy, I also might have nerve damage in other parts of my body, like the intestinal tract. The intestinal tract, that's kinda of like the body's sewage system. That's exactly what it is, Cancer Man. It's the body's sewage system. And I gotta make sure that the sewage is getting out of the body. That's a good idea, you don't wanna keep it in you. That's right. So, what I've learned to do is the yoga. I get on the floor, and I stretch my legs, there you go, and I lift them up, and I put them down, and I lift them up, and I put them down. I do abdominal exercises to strengthen my body's ability to pass food. That sounds like a good idea. Well, that's what I try to do, Cancer Man. I try to build up my abdominal system so that my body can get rid of the food. Of course, I've got to do the green drinks. And of course, of the green drinks, the beets seem to help the most. The beets, I love beets. See, I've got a red cake. Red is red and red is good and red are beets. Red are beets. And I'm glad you like beets because I like them myself. So I do that and I do the stretching exercises and also, Cancer Man, one thing I really have to do is I also have to do some herbal teas. So I do a little detox herbal teas. Detox herbal teas, yeah. Like the licorice root. Licorice root, yeah. I take licorice root, I boil it up, and I make licorice root tea. Licorice root tea, that sounds delicious. Well, those are things that I've got to do to take care of myself. Well, anyway, you'll never go back and be the guy in the photo. Well, hey, you're never going to go back and be the guy you were either, Cancer Man. That's right, Mo. That's why I've learned that kind of live and fight cancer and fight the after effects. And you've been very helpful to me. And that's why I'm telling you what I'm learning. That's right, Mo, because I learned from you and I can tell other people what I've learned from you and you can tell other people what you've learned from me. That's the spirit. If we learn together, pay attention. You know, I was just talking to Bobby Blake about that. Why don't we think more like sociologists or anthropologists? Do some investigations. Talk to the people right in front of us. Talk to the people in the waiting room. Find out what's going on with them. That's a great idea, Mo. You're doing that. Yeah, well, I'm trying to do that. And, you know, people have been very forthright, really, about, like, what they're going through and what they're doing to kind of self-maintain themselves. Self-maintenance. That's the key. Self-maintenance. You're right, Mo. Self-maintenance. Hey, Mo, keep it up. Thanks, Cancer Man. I want to. And, hey... Let's get back together again and let's have another discussion about life after cancer. Cancer! <laughs> well, there he goes. Cancer man. Life after cancer. How was it? That was good.